can't half it now already. Whoa. Let's taste this, this bad baby, shall we? What? Hello and welcome to another Bunny and Teddy video diary and in this one it's a follow up to last time when Bunny did the granola and if you haven't seen that one go back and see that one first because this one follows on from that you'll also see what we had for Christmas in part have a check out of that in the last video but this one is all about Bunny's beef moussaka with aubergine no potato <laughs> I don't know what else is in it let's go with Bunny Hi, Google it's me again so I'm going to do a quick version so I won't have time to salt the aubergine and let the, the water come out and all that it's going straight in the oven it's three aubergines and I'll slice them like that slicing it like that can I squeeze one one here. So the ingredients for that are going to be aubergine, a ragu type of tomato bolognese with a bit of beef, a bechamel and cheese and all that. Normally we do put a layer of potatoes but uh, we don't want potatoes for tonight. My first step, I need to par cook these aubergines. So right in a little bowl I'm going to put a good drizzle of Good old nice virgin olive oil. Extra virgin. Yeah. Tiny bit of salt. Tiny bit of garlic granules. It's a tiny bit, eh? it's probably a teaspoon. I'm not measuring today, but I am going to measure cinnamon because if you don't put too much of it, quarter of a teaspoon. It's ground cinnamon. Yeah, let's have a look at that. I don't want it to be too pungent, but I want to taste it. No, it's alright, it's not too, it hasn't got too much cinnamon in it, so. I'm going to put a little spoon on each slice of aubergine, like that. Put my oven on 180, and I'm going to put these babies in the oven for about 20, 20 minutes while I, while I get all my ragu, grated cheese, bechamel ready. That's and then 180 fan. Let's try see whether we can get the other side of everything. I don't want to put too much, but we'll see. Because they will they will render their, their water. Don't want the aubergine to be cooked completely, but cooked soft enough. Oh, I'm looking forward. We haven't had a moussaka for ages, have we? That's no. Um, How long then in the oven? I think I would put about 30 minutes, maybe less. This is to be confirmed. I'll check out. It will be late then when we eat. Yeah, about 8 o'clock, I'm sorry. <laughs> I will check after 20 minutes. If I see I'm happy with it, then I'll take it out and then we'll start assembling. Think we might. We need a drop more there. Yeah, nice aubergines. Just Don't throw things away. These have been in the fridge for a week and now they're yes, ready to Yes, guys, use. it's not because they say oh, it needs to be days a day. If the veg looks quite fresh and it's not, then you can see it's very fresh after a whole week. Yeah. So. So they're ready to go in at 180 fam for half an hour, maybe 20 minutes. Well, I would say half an hour, yeah. And then meanwhile, I'm going to get cracking. I'm going to get cracking with the bolognese and the... I forgot. <laughs> bechamel. The bechamel. Right. right, Mr. Ambrose, could you get me some milk, please? Right, we put on the scale about 50 grams of butter. Unsalted? Whatever, this one is not salted. And the same of plain flour. 50 grams. In the flour, season. There is nothing like fresh nutmeg. It tastes better, it smells better. I don't know what's that approximately, so about that bit. 
Not even half a teaspoon. A tiny bit of salt. Pinch of salt. We'll add afterwards and a tiny bit of garlic. Granules. Okay, if I did have some onion powder, I would have put in there, but I haven't. So we're going to start with the roux. Melt the butter. Let that melt. And meanwhile, I am going to, I'm going to add a little bit of water, uh, cold water, Oops. in your hand. Dilute your do that like a little paste. This is for trying, you know, we avoid lumps. So here the butter is. There are little bits of lumps, but I'm hoping with a right. Okay. Stirring, stirring, stirring. Get the milk as well. Stir, 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 stir. Add the milk. Stir, 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 stir. Add the milk. Stir, 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 stir. Stir, 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 stir. Milk. So it's 50 grams of butter, 50 grams of flour. Right, I'm switching the thing off. And for creaminess, I'm going to swap to a whisk. Right, okay. Oops, sorry. On. The reason why I'm doing that is because I want to go into crevices of the and the uh, whisk hopefully we will get free of all the little lumps right Turn the, the, the heat down a little bit right this is my touch i am going to add a little bit of mustard in there dijon mustard I move now to the spoon but there are still little bits uh, you're asking me whether I know it's done so I want to clean so there's still a little bit of lump in there so I'm going to have my I'm going to have to use my whisk to just blend it to a, right whether it's done look it stays there it means that cream is done the bechamel is done it's ever so easy instead of buying the jar one so we fat now and um, I'm going to have a little taste pinch of salt white pepper, salt white pepper a bit more salt oops right and then I've got two eggs here that I'm going to beat and add in a while because if I add the eggs, ideally they say to add for silkiness to egg yolk, uh, but I think I will do that actually to egg yolk, but I'm not going to do it just now because otherwise it's going to, it can cook the egg too much. If that makes sense. I am going to use my hand blender. Do zzz, zzz. You only need to do this if your if you mix see isn't little, lumpy. You don't have to. Sometimes you don't get the lumpy. It is lumpy, should I say? If it's got a bit of lumpy in it, do that with it. Just to nice. finish it off. Mm. 
but if you catch Look. it right, it's going to be nice and... This is very nice, guys. I'm really happy with that. Right, I know this is not traditional. I did some mash. This is a tiny bit of mashed potato. And guess what? That's not going to waste. It's going in my... <laughs> in here. And I'm going to mix. You said you were... I didn't, but it. I found it in the <laughs> fridge. And I'm not wasting it, guys, so... But now it's all lumpy again. Yeah. yeah. So but you're going to have to blend that in now. Then. Oh good. Look at this. Very creamy. Very long. Unctuous. Delicious. Very delicious. Next. We're going to do. Oh this is very creamy. This is very very nice. Right Teddy. Can I give Teddy a job? No. <laughs> He knows what I'm going to give him. Grating cheese. <laughs> he hates that, don't ya? But you're good at it. <laughs> right, where is the grate? Right, let's have a look. Do you want to? This has been in the freezer. Yeah? No, I'm just saying it's been in the freezer. Yeah? Nothing wrong with it. Well, no, I'm just saying it's been in the fridge. But it was ah. put in the... We don't waste anything, as you know here, guys. So, I defrosted it. So, half of it is going into the bichamel. This is just normal cheddar cheese. Ideally, you should put a little bit of fatty cheese, but doesn't matter whatever cheese you've got lying around is good. They say it's probably not the traditional mm. moussaka, but Bunny is doing it <laughs> with what she's yeah. got at home. Well done, Bunny. Okay, guys. Well, I've got out of doing the cheese, but I'm holding the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't do both. So right, I'm going she's to take, quicker than me at that, so anyway. I'm doing taking half of that and putting it in the in the bechamel. Does that mean you're gonna blend that in as well? No. Oh, what's gonna to happen to the other half going on top of it, is it? Yeah, or in between or on top. I've got to see my dish that I'm going to put it in. Put it in. It smells divine. I'm going to taste. Yeah, enough salt. I'm happy with that. Actually, when I do the bolognese, I won't put as much salt, mm. I think. And uh, we'll start the bolognese and then I'll check on the... The aubergine. On the aubergine. How many minutes has it been now, Ted? I don't know. When did you put them in? Huh? When did they go in? 20, so 22, 8. Nope. Well, that's half an hour. Uh, 22, 7, sorry. Well, that's half an hour. Is it half an hour? Exactly, which is not gone for half an hour already. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I think they are done. Right, let's do the it. eggs a minute and then I'll have a look at the one egg yolk, two egg yolk, two egg yolk. yolks. Yeah, go. <laughs> yeah. Right, this is going into a little Tupperware in the freezer or in the fridge, that's you can the, do meringue or... Yeah, that's the whites. We'll just put the yolks in there then. Oh, this is luscious. It's, uh, yeah, I'm right. say it's quite, um, seems rather rich, doesn't it? You know what I mean? Right, let's have a look at these aubergines, shall we? How do we know? Uh, yeah, they are okay. They're not completely cooked, but they are they're getting there. So I'm happy with those. So I'm going to remove all of them and then I'm going to do the ragu because they're going to cook again in the in the dish. So So the half done at the minute. Yeah, Sorry. I'm happy with those. How long do you think? Was it 20 minutes then? About 20 minutes, yeah. They are half cooked because they're quite soft. Oh, I love aubergine, guys. As a kid, it used to be my absolute favorite. I do the ragu now, all right? I have got 5% beef from Morrison. I tend not to take the 20% because the, well, for the health it's not very good. So it's 5% ground beef. A drizzle of olive oil, and then a defroster, so 5%. It's been ages, we haven't had beef mince, haven't we, Ted? Uh, no, we don't have it often, no. We don't have red meat very often. No, not at all. Yeah. There you go. 
Right, I'm going to do like the chef do. I'm going to let it get a bit of color. On this one, guys, I am not going to put any onions or anything like that. It's a quick, a quick one because that is hungry. I am not so much hungry. So. I want to do it right, bun. It's not a question of right. <laughs> Question of flavours. Yeah. What question of flavour? I just want flavour. Right, again, not traditional. A little dollop of Cinzano. Vermouth. Cinzano. Right. Ooh, it smells gorgeous. Let that evaporate. Mm, smells gorgeous. So, what would you have put in there instead Red of Chinzano? Red wine. Yeah. So this is what she actually did put in then. It's quite literally Chinzano Vermouth Rosso, and it was quite literally what. Couple of tablespoons, or if yeah. a little bit more than that. Maybe. Right, I'm starting now. Starting to layer the in there. We can smell the vermouth. So we got there. A tea and a half spoon of paprika. Ideally, I would have put my pepper paste that I don't have at the minute. I need to go to that shop in Leicester to get it. I've run out of it and I love it so that would have gone in there oh. so we've got to go back to Umra Umra yes mm. if you haven't seen Umra by the way we did a video on what we shot for teaspoon of mixed herbs a teaspoon and quarter that's mixed herbs yeah yeah Umra I'll link that in the description being that we've just mentioned it <laughs> bit more cinnamon half a teaspoon it's a great shopping spray, wasn't it? Yeah. Teaspoon of garlic powder. And a quarter spoon of ginger powder. Right, as you can see, I'm getting colour. Mm. Oh, yum. I'm smells. Oh, yeah, all that is some goodness in there. Cumin powder, how much? Oh, finished. One. Oh, not just on a, t a teaspoon before the bottle finished or the jar finished there. I know this is not traditional, but the cheap. Right, I'm adding like a tomato. Oh, show us the jar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ideally, you get the tomato passanta, but this one is a tomato pasta sauce. It's quite a thick one. This is from, oh, I don't normally like buy Aldi. that, but it was. Oh, these tomatoes. Yeah, okay. I, I'm using it because I had, I used it for something during two days ago, and normally they say not to keep things oh, uh, okay. too long. So you see these, they seem burned, but it's all goodness there. Mm. Great a bit. I've done my my heat down, the heat down. Mm, it's nice. I've added some water in there. Mm. I don't want it to be too watery. I want it to be thick. Right, putting the. <laughs> you've got some jars to wash up for me, I know. Mm, great. <laughs> Recycling. That we do here in this home. Hmm. Right, I'm going to scrape all the good goodness out of this. Mm. Oh, it smells nice. Can you smell it, dude? Mm. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Yum. I'm going to taste. I haven't added any salt because my cheesy sauce here is a tiny bit salty, so I don't want anything to be salty. Seasoning is absolutely gorgeous. Don't need to add anything now. I love it. Oh, it's very rich. 
I need time to assemble. Woohoo! I'm going to put a little bit of ragu. This is a ragu. Ragu? Oh, it smells gorgeous. Then, we come with other babies. Woohoo! One. Two. And the corner. Right. Put a bit of cheese. Ooh. Are you excited, you? Hmm. I'm just salivating and standing here with the camera. And then this is our white sauce. More bishop now. It's got a bit of prep to it, but it's certainly going to be worth it, isn't it? And there's plenty here for another meal, because we won't eat all this tonight. More this. Ooh. Yummy! <laughs> <laughs> what is he going to say? Bunny's yeah, impatient! Yeah, she's impatient now to get it in the oven. Instead of spooning it on, she just tips it out. He knows me, doesn't he? Don't you do? Yes, bun. Yeah. Right. And this bechamel is really rich now that the mashed potato went in it and the cheese. Not only that, the egg. Don't forget the egg went in. No, on the eggs as well, yeah. Like this. Like that. It does shrink, aubergine, guys. So. Oh. <laughs> there you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Couldn't whoa. have placed them any better than that. No. Right. Again. Yum, this yum. is going to be freaking delicious, y'all. Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, y'all. Sorry, we've been watching the endless invention. <laughs> scrape, 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 scrape. In fact, I've got to admit, guys, I've, I have missed this with you I'm coming glad. along yes. coming along with you in the kitchen with bon <laughs> right the last bit of this oozy gorgeous so this finishes it and then the cheese on top the cheese is that the and again another thing that is not traditional oh We'll More see. Cinzano vermouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wish. You wish. But no. Oh. Chocolate. <laughs> oh. Do I know? No, you don't have chili. Oh. But it's not here. It is here. It's on but the it table. But it is here. It's on the table. Yeah. Oh, this thing in the packet. Yeah. Oh, she'll show you that in a minute then. This is a new thing She'll for me. She'll explain herself in a minute. So, what we got then, Flo? Right. I thought, for a bit of crunch, right? I'm going to say, Matzo show us what meal. it is. What is it? Matzo meal. It's crackers. Matzo meal. It's basically cream crackers that you... <laughs> We've got that. Cream crackers that you... And where, crackers. where do you get this from? <laughs> One of our shops, favourite shop. I don't know whether it was Umrah. Right, I'm going to put that in there. And then I've added a bit of olive oil. And this baby, the rest oh, of right. this cheese Whoa. is going in there. Okay. And we're doing this. And I'm adding some crunch. Oh my god. It's All like right. um, it's like a, a breadcrumb. Right, I'm there, baby. Huh? Yeah. Is it? Huh? It's like a breadcrumb replacement sort yeah. of thing. Oh my god. <laughs> well, we're going to have to show you the, the end product when it's been in. It's going to go in for about half an hour, is it? On half an hour. 180? 180 fan. Yeah. Half an hour. And we'll do a taste test, obviously, to right. finish this one and off with. I'm going to add a bit more on, on it. You are Zed. Mm. Zed, and then a bit here, a bit here. If this is not good, well, as, oh. as we <laughs> say in French, je retire mon chapeau. It means 
Well, I stopped cooking, but I don't think I will. In you go, baby. Right, I'm going to sit down five minutes and then I have a tidy up. Timer for 30 minutes and then we're ready to eat. It's going to be tasting time. Thank you for coming along into doing the my quick moussaka. Boom! Hello! <laughs> moussaka is done! Oh wow! Listen to it! Oh yeah! Chick chick chick! Right, let's see what they... It's going to explode into Ooh, the dish yeah. here. It's cooked. Oh, slice. Can you hear it? Tick. Yeah. Tick. Eh, it's cooked. Boom. And boom. Eh. Oh. Right. Are you hungry, Ted? Yeah, dish it up then, quick. <laughs> right, let's eat. I'm hungry too. Let's taste this, this bad baby, shall we? What? Oh, that's for you. No, it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got to do the tasting for our people. Yummy. Normally, we would serve that with a bit of a salad, but we've had our salad portion this morning. We're going to eat that like this. Get right. a bowl then. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that inside there. Wow. Mm -mm. What you taste? Oh wow. That is so rich, flavoursome, well seasoned, well well done all round. The taste is what you'd expect from a moussaka and the the bechamel is really the star there holding it all together because of the thickness of it. <laughs> it's really good. I'm taking in your portion. Oi. <laughs> I want a bit of crunch. You didn't take, wanted to taste this. That bit. The, yeah. The well, I'm going to get to it eventually, but you're taking it out of my own dish. Do you hear the crunch? <laughs> I think the chef approves as well. She's happy with it. So we're going to devour this and finish the video here. Give it a go. Yeah, well, try and give it a go. It's quite complicated with the preparations and all that. Ideally you serve it with a side salad, cucumber, tomatoes, veggie cheese, mint, chips, no, <laughs> mint, and then scattered with olive oil and lemon juice. Yummy! Oh, yeah. And a few olives. We're going to eat it like this. No garlic bread because we're trying to lose a bit of weight. Good night people. Have a good week everybody. Until next time. Bye. Yes. Goodbye, see you in the next one. We're gonna devour this and enjoy it. Bye for now.